What's going on guys, it's Jaden and welcome to Designs Academy. Today I'll be doing a Photoshop color correction tutorial. I know you guys have seen a lot of color correction tutorials in the past, but like this tutorial is kind of going to be like a new modern version. Um, so basically in 2016 alone, there were so many new standards or new styles that, you know, came up. So what I was going to do was I was going to actually just give you guys like an outlook on how to do most of the, like not like, there's not a certain way to do a lot of these things, but there's a way to like, you know, up your knowledge kind of on color correction because you know a lot of people aren't making uh, tutorials these days to be honest i mean it's the main people that's about it but like you know this kind of thing is just kind of been overlooked so i'm gonna make an updated color correction tutorial and i hope you guys enjoy if you do make sure to leave a like if you have any questions comments or concerns you know let me know down below in the comment section so uh yeah let's get into it so right here i have a raw picture from uh, Iron Man 3. Uh, you can honestly just get this on Google Images. I think it was the first thing I looked up when I looked up movie scenes. So if you just look that up, you can get this image. It's pretty, it's, it's clean. It's perfect to use for this kind of video. So I would suggest that you could use this to manipulate it and see how you guys can, you know, work with it yourself. And uh, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do with this is actually going to make this a layer. So I'm going to just copy that and delete it. And um, now we have the layer. So the first thing I like doing when it comes to color correction is lighting and then I color correct it with lighting because it looks better. So with this scene you have a little bit of lighting here uh, with his little jaunt on his heart whatever that is. You have these little lights right over here then you have Iron Man with this uh, you know little light right there and these eye things I don't know. But what I do is I go to my brush tool and I'll make a new layer for every kind of light so there's going to be at least like five layers I, I, I assume I think so so yeah. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the helmet, so I'm going to zoom in, and I'm just going to pick this color. So with your brush, you can just press Alt and hold that down, and then just click the color, and it's just white. I kind of want a blue tint to it, so I'm going to go and get my color swatch, put on blue. There we go. And I'm just going to lower, make this smaller, so my diameter is going to be really small. I'm just going to highlight the inside of this. I do want to make sure the glow comes out of the eye, that way it has a... When I put it on the like when I put it on the blending mode, it's gonna look better with the filter coming out because that's what light does. There's a fall off, and it's gonna be a fall off outside of the helmet. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna there we go. And what we do now is we go to the where it says normal, and we're gonna put that on. Well, we have a couple we can do. Some people think it might look better with screen. That's what I usually do it with. And some people put it on color dodge. Um, to me, that looks way too harsh and again, but sometimes it does look good. But I'm gonna keep it on the screen just for now. Um, and you could take it down a lot or you can keep it up. I keep it up all the way because you can barely notice it already. Actually, I'll put about 90% just so it doesn't look as harsh. And, uh, yeah, so you can't really tell a difference, obviously. Actually, you can. It's not that big, though. But, I mean, you know, it, it definitely does make it look better in the long run. So we're going to make another layer. And we're going to do the same thing to this part right here. I'm going to keep the same color that I use for the eyes because it's basically the same thing ultimately. And I'm just going to uh, highlight that. There we go. We put it on screen. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, probably about 80. And uh, yeah, so that just gives a little bit of glow. And then we have these little lights right there that we're gonna work on. So we're going to a new filter or a new layer, and we're gonna zoom in. And I'm going to pick this little dark blue color, and we're gonna make this a lot smaller, like that. And we're just gonna do that. Boom put that on screen and that's basically it so you can just tell the difference right there um, I don't know if it's gonna look that different from far away to be honest like hold on let's check I mean just a little difference but that's it but you know every little difference makes a bigger difference so if that makes any sense uh, this right here I want to make it a little bigger actually so it's more noticeable like that and I will put this on the screen and then we'll zoom out and uh, now we got our lights for the this headgear thing and then we're gonna work on this right here this one's gonna be a little bit like weirder cuz like it's only half lit so another layer and I'm going to uh, kinda get this blue tint we have right here it's more light so I'm actually gonna go up here to light and we're going to make it a little bigger and just color around this thing so 
like this. Boom. And we're going to put it on screen as well. Actually, no, for this we're gonna put it on overlay. And uh, yeah, it looks better. It's noticeable and everything. All right, so we got the lights figured out. We don't have any more lights in the scene that we have to highlight or anything. That's kind of just an extra, to be honest with you guys. It's useful, it looks cooler, so that's that. But we also have a couple of other things we gotta do. So I'm going to take these layers, I'm gonna group them. I'm going to call them lights. And uh, yeah. And now we're going to do the actual color correcting. Uh, so this part it gets very extensive, believe it or not. Um, but it, it's pretty, it's all pretty generic. So right down here, you have all of your basic color correction segments. Um, so you just click it and you have all this. I always start out with curves, just personal preference. So with the curves, I'll first edit with the RGB color split and then we'll just what I'll do is I'll put that up and then I'll bring this down a little bit. I have a little bit of contrast. And then, you know, this one maybe could be a little, a little less contrasty or something. I don't know. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. Um, but actually, what I, what I want to do with this, is so, so I can show you guys everything, is I want to show you guys the red, green, and blue segments as well. So when you go to red, I kind of like this scene a lot, but there's a red thing in it but it's more like yellowish so I'm gonna definitely bring up the redness so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna bring it down down here because it's too much red but I want the high end to be red so yeah and then with the green there's already a lot of green so I'm gonna bring it down but I'm gonna bring it up actually I'm gonna bring it down down here and bring it up over here and then we're gonna go to blue Definitely should be blue. It's it's a it's a very uh, I don't know the word. It's a techie movie, so blue is definitely going to be the main color color filter for this. But that's like my opinion. I don't know. I think it should be blue. You know what I mean? All right. So we got that. Um, got that down. We're gonna go to a new one now, and it's going to be brightness and contrast. This is something I don't do all the time because it's very, it's already really bright. But you know, ever like I said, every little difference makes a bigger difference in a long run because everything just kind of works together so I'll do that I got some things right here in uh, exposure uh, it's a very dark scene to be honest um, not all there's lights and that's the only thing that's kind of keeping it light so we're gonna bring up the exposure just a little bit just a little bit it's very uh, very I don't know the word it's like sensitive the exposure um, and then we got our photo filter that we're gonna work with here and like I said I think it should be kept on a blue so like, like that kind of, um, I know I'm going a little quick, but it's all just tips and tricks. I'm not really giving you guys a tutorial on how to color correct a certain segment of something. I'm uh, on an extent I am, but this is more like, just like a, what to use and how to use it. It's not that much. It's, there's not that much to it. It's not that deep. It's just knowing what to use kind of like, there's a lot of things here. Um, like vibrance, for example, we're going to bring this up cause you want some color in your scene. But not too much like that um and then we have what we're we gonna use this is pretty cool the color look up you can have your own or you can have it look up for you but we just go through all of them so you guys can see them all so like they're just pretty generic really crappy filters but like what you can do with them is pretty cool like you can you can kind of work with them if you find the if you find the right one so let me let me see here um like that one right there is pretty cool hold on that one right there I'm just gonna bring it down a lot and it might look cooler so like 25 definitely adds something to it you know what I mean then we have this right here which I don't do very often but you know I'm just gonna show you guys for just so you guys to know it's a gradient map so what you do is you can put this on black and white and it's like a very contrasty like dark and, and it, it basically contrasts so much you put it on overlay and then you put it on like really low I'm not going to do it because my scene's already dark enough but that's something you could do to make a very contrasty feel uh, and then like you got some other things here like hue and saturation sometimes you feel like your uh, scene's already all out of color so you can just play it a little bit but like there's not much you can do with the scene because it's already perfect 
I kind of wanted to be on plus four. I think it looks perfect. Um, then we have things like, uh, well, to be honest, the last thing I could think about showing you guys that is worth it is probably going to be the uh, levels. So with levels, this is more of like a photography kind of thing. You kind of just take out the highlights and then you take out the shadows. But this scene, like I said, is already dark enough, so you can't really do anything with it. There's no point in making it brighter, the highlights, but like, I don't know, I guess it, I guess you can make it a little darker. There's like a vignette. I don't like vignette at all. I think it's so cheesy looking. All right, so we got the color correction finish. Like I said, not that big of a difference from like the beginning, but like, it's always just, it's just there. So we're gonna call this filter. And with my filters, I never keep it on 100% opacity. I think it kind of ruins it. Um, so I, what I do is I put on 70. And uh, it, there's, a, there's a notice, right? It just highlights everything. Without the lights, with the lights, without, with. And it just, you know, all together, it makes it look cooler in my opinion. So sometimes you'll like going all out and I'll make a whole new filter. And just to make this scene so much like more intense, uh, this seems very blue, so I'm gonna blue, and I'm gonna increase my brush size a lot. People will actually go like this, and add like light streaks and stuff. So they'll put this on like, oops, they'll put this on like screen, and I'll bring it down, and it just adds like all this. I'm not gonna keep it, but I'm just showing you guys for examples, and like they'll do that kind of thing. It's kind of cool. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. In this case, it's just useless because it looks really goofy. But I mean, sometimes it could look, it, it could work. So I mean, if you put this under the filter, right there, it kind of does look cool to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Like it doesn't look cool, but like it just adds some color to it, I guess. So yeah, I mean, that, that kind of works. So I mean, we can we can keep it just for shits and giggles. All right, so we'll call this um, extra light. All right, and we'll group this all together, and I'll show you guys with and without it. And we'll call this color grade. And we turn it off, turn it on. So it enhances the image at most. It's very mediocre touching. Like I said, it's just a modern overlook on color correction in Photoshop, nothing too spiffy. Uh, there's some other things you could do with filters up here. There's all of these things, you know, obviously. If you make, if you guys want me to, I'll make an advanced filter tutorial where you, I'll show you guys how to use, you know, the uh, filter gallery. Uh, camera raw filter is pretty cool for like, you know, raw editing. And then you have all these things on here. And then you have high pass filters. And then you have the magic bullet looks, which is going to be a different tour probably. Um, I'm not a fan of magic bullet looks, to be honest, in Photoshop, but in After Effects, it's a different story. But if you guys did like the tutorial, make sure you let me know. If you have any questions, comments, or any concerns, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section. I hope you guys like my comeback video. I made it very casual because it's not that important. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. It's been Jaden, guys, and I'm out. Peace.